They're like, what? What is this? It's Trevor Sandbottom. Hey everyone, it's Sorby here today with my Trevor Sandbottom deck. I'm also using Lulu and Sever. Is it a worse version than Zed and Sever? Essentially, but it is more fun because the idea of this deck is that we are getting these walking, the Waking Sands. I always want to say Walking Sands because, you know, they're kind of walking, but uh, you get the Waking Sands and then you're able to play the Sand Bottom or the Snooze Bottom, but you know, I'm calling it Sand Bottom because of the Sands, you know. <laughs> so you play that and then you play the 5 2, uh, the Waking Sands, and then you attack with that, and then you get a 5 2 with the Ephemeral, and you also have a 5-2 that's also ephemeral but elusive. It's just kind of a cheesy way to do stuff. Uh, I just had some fun with it. Uh, that's really it. I mean this combo of Sivir and Ghost and Spirit's Refuge and F Flurry of the Fist is still just incredibly strong. Twin Disciplines being to two. Uh, Absolver, gosh, this deck is still, even though this is like the meme version of the deck, it's still very good just because of the core cards that are in it. So I hope you enjoy this and let's go ahead and get on to the games. Swain and Ezreal uh, instead of Draven Ezreal. Okay, we got Lulu. And really nothing to go with her, unfortunate. But we do have uh, two gifts for Renekton, so that's kind of sick. Two snooze bottoms. I am superior life form. You know, I was just waiting. Waiting for uh, banking my mana. Yes, that's what I was waiting for, to bank my mana. And I have this nice little twin discipline to make sure that my gifts for Renekton can re- be returned to him safely. Okay, they they outplayed me. What can I say? <laughs> Do I have to save this if they go for flock? Okay, they don't have flock. Thank you. I think I had to save it if they went for flock. Like I don't think I could afford to take that much damage, but it's hard to say. Got to find some gifts for Renekton. I think I just play a Shadow Assassin. Certainly doesn't feel great. I save this for Lulu. I don't think so. I think it's a trade I have to be willing to take, unfortunately. I mean, that's fine. Now do they find their flock? Guess not. Gotta find gifts for Renekton. Shadow Assassin too. Could go for a heal. I wish I had something a little bit better though. Lulu doesn't feel spectacular here. They can make it feel better though. They made it feel a lot better this way. I mean, it doesn't feel great doing that, but them being at one mana feels pretty good. Nope. And they've kind of shown me they don't have flock unless they just top decked it. Oh, okay, cool. They did. I would have uh, killed this instead of Lulu. Respecting Lulu. I mean, it's the bot was a lot more scary. I, like, I guess it has perma and vulnerable, but <laughs> caring about Lulu. Okay, cool. We got Trevor Sand Bottom. So they won't attack here. I'm just always incorrect. Let's just let's just go with that. I'm just save. It's Trevor Sand Bottom. Yeah. 
Trev or Sand Bottom. They're gonna kill this Waking Sands. I'm gonna be so sad. If not, oh, we pop off so hard. We just pop off so hard, if not. Ugh, I really shouldn't go for it this way. I really shouldn't. Do they not know? Are they missing out on the power before them? Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, they uh, they do not know the power of Trevor Sandbottom. Because he's here and he's very scary. So if you don't know, uh, if you do this, you get two. Uh, because the order that it works in. <laughs> one of my sand bottoms too they're like what what is this <laughs> it's Trevor sand bottoms <laughs> they're so confused <laughs> all right minus 10 just casually and uh, you know a dead swain too yeah I think they're just <laughs> we're sure what to expect from that can I get just Ooh. Another one would be uh, kind of great. I'll play this to defend for now. It's probably just going to be a Rune Runner. Ooh, Lulu. Rune Runner with Trevor Sandbottom's too good though. Refuge too. I don't need to do anything else this turn. They don't want to attack with their Ballistic Bot. I mean, I'll probably end up playing the Rune Runner. Especially if they don't end up killing uh, Sand Bottom. Yeah, they're not killing Trevor Sand Bottom. It's actually a leveled up Lulu in my hand, too. Everything else, yeah, I don't really care about. Don't need to block the one extra damage. And we got Spirit's Refuge. Life is good. Life is good when you're a believer in Trevor Sandbottom. Imagine not pre-committing. <laughs> what a great game. What's it gonna be? Also, too, we could just, like, casually just double, you know, flurry if we wanted. Just super casually. <laughs> well, we take those. <laughs> Sand bottom even gotta live. Ooh, Mono Sharima. Okay, we'll keep Young Witch. I don't even know if we want to keep Young Witch. We probably should discard her, but... Well, it looks like it worked out. I feel like Treasure Seeker should definitely be in this list now. I'm assuming they're gonna play their Sun Disc. Nice. It's nice to see some Mono Shuriman's. It makes me want to play Mono Shurima. Alright, nothing great here. Just a young witch. Really, that's it. I think we're open attacking even. Yep. And then we'll probably play this Prez. Activate our shape stones for the future. Cool. Aw, oh, 6 out of 30 is really not bad. Not bad at all. I feel this Mono Shurima, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, we're emo buddies. Nice. Oh, Trevor Sandbottom, let's go! I'm ready. Trevor.
I guess we do this. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Our behavior. Okay. Take it fair and square. They could have shapestone here, so uh, I'm not gonna block with my sliver. But if I play on the stone, we just kill them. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I just played on the waking sands, I think. I mean, it's not quite there, but dang, it's close. I'm actually gonna play this first. There's a chance I play some gifts for Renekton instead first. I have another one, so like I can still combo. I probably should have killed the other thing with this, but. I was thinking to an earlier game where I had two snooze bottoms, and obviously I don't have two snooze bottoms yet. So, a shaped stone does interact well here. And that's good with me. Yeah, even if I play this, I don't really care. I think it's actually like fine for them to do so. Just a sand charger for a sand charger. Oh, I don't really agree with that. Oh, that's fine. Also, too, like I can't just do uh, that instead. Then it has more health. I still like the sand charger pressure though. All right, so we'll shape stone. So close to not dying. These two were switched, but I mean, they they thought about the shape stone, which was good on their part for sure. So Sifter's dying now, and actually, I'll probably just spirits rough you or twin discipline her. She doesn't have to die. Yeah, I don't think I want her to die. Unraveling. Okay. That's pretty vibed. Heh. It's a good thing I got a thing as well. I'm pretty sure it's just Spirit's Refuge here. Actually, nah. We just make it a. This plays around Shapestone though. And the Spirit's Refuge onto Sivir next turn is one more. It's not super necessary. We could just let her die though and play another Sivir. It's probably the white the right way to go about it. But my poor Sivir. She doesn't deserve to die. So I play you, and then you and you, maybe? Or we just, you know, hit a ghost casually? A lot of things work. I don't need to use this right now. Alright. Their sands play was a good play, I just happen to have, like, really great counters to it. Unfortunate for them. Okay, so we have to use our silver now, unless they find another plus health. Cause I don't really. They did. That helps level up their disc. Renekton's the other option. Shape stone, eight double shape stone, 
double shape stone hurts. So I'll just do this. Actually, did I just miss lethal not going for that? No. Not with my current hand. Do I go for this? So, I mean, this dies, we don't really care. I just didn't want Sivir to pull it and die accidentally. That was the big thing. So now they know I didn't have double shape stone. So yeah, there's the shape stone. And they might have another one still. It's really hard to know. I have another another Sivir too. This one still has vulnerable, so. She's probably dying. Oh, that'd be nice. Well. Wait, what now? <laughs> crocodile. I'm a freaking crocodile. I'm letting this go. In case you're wondering, I'm not going to play into a double shape stone. It's just, I don't know, so, <laughs> you're so far from level though, isn't he? No, I don't know, he's not that far. Yeah, like, imagine not letting this go. Imagine thinking Shirima has reach. Oh, look, another Sivir. Crazy. Okay. Time to cheat. Time to be... All right, see, they get it. no movie still. <laughs> we are just, you know, just gonna casually cheat here. Very casually. Super casually. Just spell shields, barrier is life steal. Um, yeah, very fair. <laughs> we did get some sand bomb. We didn't get Lulu in this game either, though, I don't think. I have a hard time drawing the champion for some reason. I'll take it, though. 